Happy Thursday. How are you all doing? Nice and quiet in my house. They're all gone to bed. It's um, half ten. Just finished a lovely EFT session with my friend. <clears throat> One of my uh, volunteers always helps me on all of my courses and uh, just doing a little bit of tapping. Um, even me, uh, I've said that over the last few days, I've been going through massive shifting in energy. <clears throat> Definitely feel it um, even more over the last few days because, um, you know, the energy keeps it's like it's like coming in waves you get a wave then you get you know a few days of feeling okay then you get another wave and this uh, last few days i've had the weirdest experiences on my physical body where my hand is numb my whole left hand is numb and as um you've seen i've started to learn how to play the uh teotihuacan flute which is the um mexican um old ancient mexican flute which is um uh, my newest addition to my healing um, toolbox and I have um, been having lessons every week and I can't even have my lesson this week because my physically my fingers are totally numb and I don't know whether I physically banged my elbow over the last while but um, I re definitely feel it's energy it's all heart energy but it's, it's, it's causing it in my fingers because as you know the energy that we're purging from our physical body our energy body is coming from the heart especially on this experience is coming from the heart for me and down my hands and out the tips of my fingers and that's the weirdest feeling because it's only in my left hand it's not in my right it's only my left and for the last few days i've had the um like as if every single hair on my head is being pulled out one by one so it's like this the pain of the follicles of my hair um what else experience am I having? This feeling of like I've been punched in the third eye, like physical pains in my body, which I never, ever have. And from my experience of doing Reiki all of these years is um, the more you do Reiki, the more you actually physically do sessions on people, the more you get Reiki because it's the, one of the only therapies out there that when you give it, you're getting it yourself. So when you put your hands down on somebody to work on them, the energy has to flow through you as this channel to get the person out of your hands. So it has to come through you and your chakra system first and it transmutes your negative energy and allows your negative energy to flow out your feet, it solves your feet, when you're giving it to somebody else. So because I'm physically not doing sessions on people, the amount of sessions I would do in a week, I'm not getting the amount of Reiki that I would normally get. So my physical body is, is being hampered now because I'm not getting the energy with, into me. So, more of a lesson for myself that's a bit more meditation but i found over the last few days i just couldn't even bring myself to do a meditation because i'm um physically watching what's going on in the world watching you know also do the politics especially politics in america uh watching what's going on with the whole experience of the uh covid experience the um, the inoculations i won't even say that word because we're not even going to go down that road i'm watching all of that i'm watching um how that is all uh, coming into fruition and what's happening with that so the spiritual side of it is all being pushed to the side so I've done as you know every experience um, that we go through we're adapting we are learning from no matter what happens to us in our life we are learning from it no matter what it is whether it's a nice experience whether it's a bad experience and as I've said over the last few months especially with the back into lockdown it's causing us all to really go in within ourselves um, spend more time with ourselves whether it is true meditation whether it is true uh, self um, self help self doing stuff for yourself um, whether it's true books learning more whether it's adapting your work environment because now you physically may not might not be able to work like me where physically you're not able to physically do your job you have to adapt and do it in a different way so there's so much learning that's coming from this experience so instead of seeing it as a bad way because it is so frustrating I felt really last week so frustrated over constantly feeling that the goalpost is being pushed and you cannot get back to doing especially me I love doing what I do not being able to get out and do it and feeling that frustration and feeling that control being taken away that you're not in control of it but instead of being angry about it and frustrated about it Step into the power and say, you know what, I'm not going to allow that to um, overrule my day and not allow it to um, rule my feelings, make me feel bad, make me feel negative. See it in a way that you're adapting and what you can do for yourself in this experience that's going to bring you joy and um, bring you happiness, bring you um, positive feelings.
So um, I know from uh, my clients, I know people who have been messaging me, people who have actually never even physically come to me for a Reiki session. I know from them that they're going through very similar experiences to me. And as I've said in so many of my videos before, I'm on this journey and I'm already spiritually awakened. I, I, I can see things from a spiritual point of view, looking down on myself like I'm watching it like a movie. And I see it um, in a, on a grander scale because I can take myself out of it and look in. But what about the people who are only newly being awakened? There's so many of you out there who are newly awakened into this experience of seeing things, everything being dismantled at the moment, all of our systems breaking down and really seeing it for themselves. I mean, even down to the experience of watching last week with the um, the experience of um, President Trump, well, Donald Trump being... Um, that went trying to impeach him and watching that experience and how they showed what we see on the television and what was actually happening in reality and seeing what way it's perceived and what the narrative is what's being pushed out through our televisions what's you know going out on the news all day every day and then seeing it for what it really is and that what the actual reality of it is and when you start to see that more you go oh my god oh actually that that um sounds right to me that sounds wrong to me and you actually start to see it and have discernment for yourself and you start to see it in a different way then you start to understand that actually maybe there's lots of other things going on in the background that you have been told or led to believe and um it's not really the truth so the last few months especially have been eye openers for people where people are saying oh my god i've never really looked into all about the medical systems all about the science systems, all about the, polit the political systems, religious systems, all about the education systems, especially what we're going through at the moment with the um, leave insert and our um, experience that we're going through here with the kids going back to school and trying to get them back to school. So, so much things that we're going through at the moment that we're actually really getting our eyes opened. And I heard one of the um, other spiritual teachers that say it's the great awakening, which I've been saying all of this time. But when you actually understand it's the great awakening, some of these things we have to actually see, like the experience that we saw with George Floyd, where we had to be shocked into seeing that there was something going on uh, between the with racism in America or racism all over the world right but something going on because we got to see it with George Floyd we were shocked into seeing it so there was a massive awakening there the great awakening because we were so shocked into seeing it sometimes we have to actually be shocked into seeing things for us to realize actually we've been lied to so there's things that are coming out in the political system there's things that are coming out in all of our systems now and they're all being dismantled anything that's going on in those systems that is uh, not not right not um um acting with the light as in not doing it from the with the right intention for the intention of good those systems are being dismantled last year when i started doing um in the lockdown force when we were doing you know having our first experience of this i've done so much meditation and um my guys were saying the light has already won the light has already won don't worry the light is won god has already won we have to watch the rest of it now dismantle and we have to watch the rest of it dissolve all the old stuff the old negative beliefs the old conditions the old limitations that have been put on us the old experiences the negative experience that we've been having for thousands of years here have to be dissolved and in order for them to be dissolved they've got to come up and purge up to the surface for them to be dissolved so we can actually see it witness it acknowledge that it's happened and never allow it to happen again never allow it to get to a point where it gets so bad that we how do we not see that happening so all of these systems are this is all happening at the moment and it's the great awakening because we're being shocked into seeing oh my god shocked into looking into vaccines shocked into looking into the political system and how the elites are controlling it all shocked into looking into the racism um in america and all over the world shocked into seeing it with our own eyes so we have to be shocked into awakening sometimes because sometimes you have to shock people to actually awaken them up awake waking them up so there's many of us out there who are woke keep hearing that are you woke i'm woke i'm definitely woke um but i'm woke because i am and i'm saying woke in the, the spiritual terms of being awakened that you have your eyes open now you're seeing it from a different perspective and i might say that i am 
uh, seeing things in my way. And that's okay because it's my way of seeing it. And there's people out there who maybe five, six years ago hadn't got a clue of anything that I see now or that I have was seeing over the last five years. And now we're seeing it now because now they're awakening and they go, oh my God, now people are starting to see it more and more. And people are now starting to um, see things with spiritual eyes than seeing things with the human eye. And um, I think we're going to start seeing more over the next while. And I think we need to help each other through it. And I've had so many experiences over the last while where people said the triggers are coming up, the reactions, you know, the they um shouting their cause or you know um wanting to um get angry about it or shout up and you know speak up for themselves that's okay but try not to react and um try not to overreact try to look at it from a spiritual perspective and look at what it is that's what it's teaching us whether it is for us to speak up for ourselves feel what we feel look at the, the experience that we're being um what is being fed to us through our TVs and through our social media and through radios. And how does it feel when you're hearing that? Does it feel right? Does it feel wrong? And if it doesn't feel right, speak up and have um your own, speak your own truths, how it feels for you. Because as I've said before, this is a, a personal experience for me. It's a personal experience for you. You're going through yours. I'm going through mine. And I can't, I can't, um, Make you believe what I believe and same, vice versa. If you believe it in your way, that's totally fine because that's your personal journey, your experience. We all came down here to have our whole, our own human experience, even though we're a spiritual being in the human body. So over the weekend, I plan to have a Zoom, uh, Zoom meeting because I, as you know, on my Insta uh, live, I cannot do Insta lives because I can never read the questions and so many questions come in. I've been answering so many questions over the last few days via voice messages because I'll be there all day trying to um, uh, answer people back. So I'm going to do a Zoom and over the next few days, whether it's going to be Friday or Saturday, I'm going to do a Zoom and I'm going to send the um, meeting code to whoever wants to do it and can come on. If you don't want to be seen, I'm going to record it. If you don't want to be seen, you just keep your video off. And you can ask me whatever questions you want and we can have that one to one, not one to one, but you will all be there and we can have um, a conversation, discussion. Let's see how we feel. Let's see how you feel. Let's see how I feel. Let's see how we can help each other out. So keep an eye over the next few days and um, until then, namaste.